Hello everybody and welcome back to Committed Gaming. I am Flute5311 and we are back here with our another episode of Destiny School. Uh, this episode we are going to talk about infusions and how to, um, maybe some best practices and kind of how you can really maximize um, the light level for the stuff you want to infuse and then how to share that with your other characters. So we're going to go ahead and jump into it here. So infusion allows you to take um, other weapons or armor and that might be a higher light level and put them into something that you really, really want. Uh, it's really nice. It, it allows it, it does some of these things that used to be, quote, junk blues that you know that you might just completely dis dismantle. Um, you might keep and like, oh man, this thing is a 298. I might want to hang on to this because it could really help out, you know, stuff that you buy from Zara that only comes at 280 or, you know, stuff that drops, you know, that, um, that, drops out a lower light level and you can quickly bring up to speed. Um, so with that, we're going to infuse a few things here and just kind of talk about uh, some best practices. So um, max infusions, I mean, unless it's a really far gap, typically seem to be like within six points. So um, if it's you know, if it's 298 light level here and I want to infuse something that's 292, that should probably be a full infusion um, unless it's an exotic. Exotics seem to take a little bit more. Um, to get the full infusion, so you may only get maybe five uh, out of instead of the full six. So infusing exotics gets a little bit more dicey. There is a website out there called DestinyInfused.com. There are also really good apps out there for iOS. Uh, Destiny Infused does in fact have an app for the uh, for an iPhone or an Android um, that you can just quickly throw in. You know, are you throwing in? Is it a, is an exotic? Is it legendary? Is it going into an exotic or a legendary? And it would give you, you know, a pretty much dead on what you're going to get out of that infusion. So that's really, really good. Um, you know, as a new player, what should you infuse first? Well, I would, I would wait and see. Um, you know, it's it's real quick and easy to, you know, to upgrade weapons and to infuse weapons, stuff that you're going to get rid of pretty quickly um, as you progress to the game. So I would kind of wait. And hold off infusing um, things that are until you get like a really good roll on something. You know, if you get a sniper or a scout or a shotgun or you know whatever um, that you got, like oh my gosh, this has the perfect roll on it. You know, then start to infuse it and bring it up. But you know, but kind of save stuff. You know, until you find something that you really really like, so you're not wasting materials and um, wasting precious light level items. You know, if you have like a, a 298 level, something that you're ready to infuse into something, don't go wasting it on, you know, a junk, a junk rocket launcher that's got vacuum on it. You're like, <laughs> you know, you don't want to do that. Um, same thing with armor. You kind of want to wait till you get a good roll on something uh, before you start infusing it. Um, but the first things I would typically infuse would be the weapons. And I say that because... Armor you can only have on certain class items, right? You know, warlock gloves can only be used by warlocks. Weapons can be used by anybody. So if you've got, um, you know, a really good um, rocket launcher or whatever, you know, that's going to fit your play style across all three characters. You're going to play that way pretty much no matter what you play, how you play across all characters. So if you take, you know, if you're infusing and bringing up um, a certain weapon, you could take that weapon and take it across all three characters. You know, you can't take armor across all three characters. So maybe, um, maybe prioritize weapons first. Um, because that way, if you've got a character who, you know, you just hit 40 with them, their light level, you know, 200 something, but you've got a 300 level, um, pulse rifle, like, oh yeah, then you could take some of that high level stuff bring it over to that lower light level character that just hit 40 that will bump that lower light level's character's light up quickly and they can get into the higher end content to get better rewards, maybe some higher armor that will help complement that the higher weapons and that will kind of help you kind of raise that stuff up. Also, as we talked about in the first video, having higher light level when you decrypt things helps them decrypt higher. So that will also help you um, increase the light level on your lower level characters when you're trying to get them um, up and running. So all of this is kind of, you know, it all synergizes very well with um, bringing things up to uh, up to par if you do it correctly. So we're just going to kind of, I mean, I've got a few things here I wanted to infuse. So I brought, uh, I found a pair of 298 gloves. Typically I keep stuff that's 290 or, or above, um, or eh, maybe even 295 and above. I'm getting to the point now where everything I have is, is, is in a good spot. But I'm going to use these 298 gloves and infuse them into these Calypso, these guys here. Because he's got a speed reloader for my sniper rifle, which I really like having during the raid. 
So I'm going to go ahead and throw this here. Um, I'm going to just infuse this guy. And zap. So 298 brings these things up to 298. They were 293. So there we go. Um, we're also going to go ahead and infuse uh, this Ash Factory. It's a good rocket launcher, except I got really junky rolls on it. So I'm going to use this as, as infusion fodder. Um, I'm going to do this as a two-step process. So my Dragon's Breath is 280. I have a 298 and a 295 here. So first thing we're going to use is 295. I'm going to use the lower level one first into this thing. You know, you, you kind of don't want to blow the 298 into it first. So we're going to use the 295 right here. Brings up to 290. So that brought it up 10 light level. Like I said, if there's a really, really light or large gap, um, it, it, it will go a little higher. Um, but as it gets narrower and narrower and narrower, six seems to be the case. So let's see how far we get here. So this next one, as we know, is 298. I'm guessing we're going to get 295, maybe 296 out of it. Let's take a look-see. And pow, 296. Okay, I was about right because it had the extra two light level on it. So that took two exotics, to, or two other uh, options to get here. We still didn't get to 298, but we raised it up 16 light level, which is pretty cool. So that's really helpful for that. So keeping stuff around here that you can that can use um, is something that's it's, it's a good idea to do. So you know, keeping exotic weapons. Uh, other hey I got a whole party going on other you know blue blue level items that drop at higher light level keep them around because you might need them which is another kind of thing that we talked about you know when you go digging for Zer down here you know grabbing items you know going with your highest light level person that you have and buying the engrams if he's got engrams that week buying buying um, as many engrams as you could you kind of afford anyway and then going back to the cryptarch and decrypting them at the highest light level you can you're either A, going to get a 310 something or, or, or a higher light level, which is going to be really helpful, or you're going to get 310 item that you already have that's 310, and you could take that and, and infuse it into other characters. You could transfer that item. You can transfer, you know, hunter items to warlock class items to infuse. You can't equip them, but you can transfer them and use them as infusion fodder for other things. So, which is really, really nice and helpful. And again, we kind of talked about how we don't want to sit here and spam the X but or the A button there. We want to hit it, come see what we got. 290. Man, I don't need it. Everything I have is already above that, so we're gonna dismantle it. I know. It's sad but true. We're gonna see what we get here. Is anything good? Another star a Starfire Protocol, which I really don't like that chess piece, and it's also 290. So man, we got burned by the Cryptarch there. Thanks, Cryptarch. But anyway, that's just a quick little video on infusions, on how to best use them. So let's kind of recap here. Um, start, I would start with, with armor first, or with weapons first, because you can fence them across all characters. Um, when you do that, when you make your other characters stronger by using those better weapons, um, it allows you to decrypt other things into higher light level. Um, do go into armor next. Don't waste your legendary marks on infusing things that are not worth it, things that you don't like, things that you you know don't have good perks on them, um, or good stat rolls if you're talking about armor. Um, really be choosy and picky. Um, make sure you're getting the best the best out of everything. Um, you know, stock ups on some of those higher level guns that you don't use. Throw them in your vault, and they'll be there for when you're ready. So that pretty much does it for the infusion video. I hope you all enjoyed it. We're gonna have more Destiny School videos coming up, and if you have anything you want to know about or stuff you want to uh, just get more information on. Just let us know down in the comments or tweet at us or come into our Facebook or whatever, wherever, however you want to get in touch with us. Go ahead and do that and we'll see what we can do for you. So thanks everybody for tuning in and all you gamers out there, stay committed.